Good Friday evening, everybody. It's Friday night, and look what I'm doing. I'm getting a head start on Thanksgiving. I'm getting my collars done. Aren't those pretty? Um, <clears throat> I've been, I have bought them a couple of days ago, so I thought tonight's the night. I'm going to get them cooked, frozen, and put away for Thanksgiving. So I'm just going to do this one tutorial on these collars, just in case somebody wants to know how to cook collard greens. As you can see, I've already I've picked up my head. This is five bunches. We have five bunches of collars. They weren't in one, you know, they come in medium-sized bunches, and you just pick them, so to speak. You just pull them apart, and then you take there's a stem that goes all the way down. Rinse them, uh, wash them really good. I washed mine the first time with a little bit of uh, a detergent, which I use ivory liquid. And then, of course, you know, you have to rinse, rinse, rinse to make sure you get all the soap off. But uh, these were, you know, these greens here in North Carolina are not real strong and heavy greens. Now, in Georgia, where I come from, I, I call them old collars because they are dark green and pungent. And just, Lord have mercy, you eat yourself into a frenzy with them. The collars here in North Carolina are more like cabbage collars. They're really mild. Don't have to cook them but, but about 45 minutes. Now, part of good old Georgia collars. Honey, my mom will cook them things an hour and a half. But, you know, both are good. It's just that the collars in Georgia, they're grown differently. The, you know, we got Georgia red clay, so the greens sort of get grown differently. And so when they, uh, when you harvest them, they're just different kind of collard greens. So these are North Carolina cabbage collards. They're really good. They're fresh. They're pretty. Uh, greens grow abundantly here, so we always get a good crop of greens for our, uh, you know, for the winter time and for Thanksgiving and whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Thanksgiving collars out of the way today. Freeze them. <clears throat> I'm not going to cook them, you know, done pretty much. Just a little bit way. Uh, and then when I take them out on Thanksgiving morning, they'll finish cooking and be ready for dinner. So... What I like to say so far, all I've done is just pull them apart, take that stem out, and I've washed them. So what I'm going to do, this is how I do my collars. Now, one time, not too long ago, I cooked collars, and um, I don't know, I just like the water running, I guess. Let's go ahead and put my water to run. The time you wanted her collars whole. And sometimes we'll cook them like the great big old leaves. Now these are huge leaves, as you can see. This was a big, 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 big leaf. All that was one collar. And you take one out of that stem out of the middle. So I cooked five, so obviously I'm trying to have some left over. I'm just parking them back up. I had them in the refrigerator because I washed them yesterday. But you know, for me, I just feel like they need to be rinsed off again while I'm getting ready to cut them up. So I'm going to show you how I cut them up. <clears throat> so I just put a stack of them. I take, you know, eight or ten collard leaves and put them together like this. Just put them together and stack them. And then I'll roll them and cut them. Yeah. I'll, I'll get them in when I finish, okay? No reason to still here with me. Mm -hmm. Well, you just finished eating, baby, so that's why your little stomach is kind of full, and you're still trying to eat some more. These are eating her. He's getting to be one of them eating kids. Now, at first, he wouldn't eat a whole lot, but now he eats pretty good like Tyler does. Oh, hope you all are having a God-blessed Friday evening. Okay, let me just turn the water off of these. I'm going to get them in a situation where you can see better. Now, you can either have, you know, if you got some, um, we cut uh, food scissors. You can cut them with your food scissors. Just depends. Or you can cut them with the knife. I mean, it's your choice. You know, like I say, chef's choice in this situation. I'm going to put my colander right here. And that way you can just see me cut them. Like, so y'all know I got limited space in this kitchen. Okay, here we go. Still got my kitchen tour. I still haven't got my painting done, y'all. I'm, I'm kind of sort of having to uh, wait on it. Okay, there we go. Yes, Nori. Yeah, you can get down right now. Absolutely get down right now before you fall. Get down now. Thank you, darling. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I know you're five. 
if you still gotta get down. Oh, they can come up with some stuff. Okay, so just take that b bunch of cards that I just stacked, and I'm just rolling them just like that. Give them to like a roll, and you can take them. You can put them on a cutting board and cut them, or you can just cut them just like so. Because the whole thing is not to cook them in those big old big big leaves. Okay. Cut through them like so. Or let me see, I've got some scissors. Something. Where's my scissors? Can you give me, just give me uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> he told me to give me 20 minutes to get down. Huh? He tried. You know they can try you. Uh, you can get them. Okay. I'm just going to show you how to do these. Do a couple of rolls of these. And then see, so you got them nice and cut like that. They're about no, like that size. I'll do 20 okay. minutes. I'll so. Then the next thing I'm going to do in a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and get my meat on. <clears throat> Y'all know I use a lot of smoked turkey, so I'm going to use smoked turkey to uh, cook, to season them with. Yeah. No, this not, he's trying to get candy, huh? He's talking about he, I don't have to get his candy, huh? If you don't stop it, you're not going to get it anymore. I'm going to tell you that. Okay. I thought you would. Thank you so much. I'll be done in just a second, okay? Okay. All right? Just be patient. What I tell you about being patient, patience is a virtue, darling. If you can have patience, baby, you can make it a long way in life. So, honey, you can ignore a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be patient. And when you're patient, good things come to you. You're not all out of order when you're patient, okay? You don't get in trouble when you're impatient. You have to be patient, okay? Say patience. Patience, that's good. That's a good, good, sweet sugar, darling. Okay, I'm gonna roll one more little group here. Just gonna get it in case you missed it the first time. Just the camera just is not angled right. Okay, if I get it up a little bit higher, there we go. Okay, that's all you had to do to begin with, honey. Okay. So you just get it like so, and I just, and just how do you can just make a little roll out of them, and that way you get to cut a lot of them at one time, and you also, you know, you, you, you then you're done with the big old old leaf. You know, you want them like like that, and we don't want them too little. Now here in North Carolina, one of the things, <clears throat> especially if you go to restaurant, if you order collars, they're almost minced. They're, they're really chopped really, really. Now, they're good. The flavoring is good and all like that. But I prefer mine in bigger pieces like so. Okay? Now, I've got my collars started. So, I'm just going to stop right there because then I need to show y'all what my next step is. After I get the collars all cut up, then I got to get my meat going. This is smoked turkey. And this is what three pounds? Three pounds. Now this is let's see, do, 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 net weight. Okay, this is one pound of turkey necks. So you can use smoked turkey necks, butts, uh, whatever part you want to use. Or if you, you can use the uh, turkey wings. Sometimes I do wings, but wings take up so much room in the pot. So what I'm doing tonight, I'm going to use two pounds of turkey necks, and all I'm going to do. Put them in a pot in my big old pan right here. How about that? I got my camera working, y'all. Wow. I got me a pot of water. And I'm just going to drop them right into this water. Probably about a half a gallon of water. <clears throat> and I'm going to let them boil probably 45 minutes ahead of putting those collars in because it really is not going to take that much. So I got me a nice pot of turkey necks going there because you're when you get these collars done, honey, you can eat that meat off of that tur off those turkey necks. And uh, uh, uh. now, I, I've got some extra chicken broth that I had left over. So what else I'm going to do with that? I'm going to put me about uh, half a cup of Bragg's vinegar in there. Okay, we're seasoning now. That's about a half a cup of Bragg's vinegar in there. And you know those turkey necks. Are already seasoned. They already got salt, so I don't really have to add any more salt. 
as I know of right now. And in toward the end, depending, I don't know. You know, sometimes you can get caught and you, you say, oh, those greens were sweet. Well, I don't know if they're sweet or not yet. So I'm not going to say I'm going to put no brown sugar in them until I figure out if they're sweet or not. Okay. The other thing that I'm going to be putting in there is one onion. I'm just going to drop it in there whole. Okay. And then I'm going to drop me some uh, three these are not hot peppers now. These are peppers in there just to add seasoning to my water, <clears throat> to my broth. I'm not going to call it water. Add seasoning to my broth. I'm going to bring this to a good rolling boil and let them cook, like I said, about probably about 30 minutes maybe before I put my greens in there. So now, at this point, we just put a lid on them. Put my lid on. And go ahead and let them start cooking. In about 30 minutes, then I go, I, I had my lid sitting on the burner, y'all. It sort of burned a little bit. That's okay. It'll be all right. Um, this is one of my good old pots, honey. It has weathered the storm like you would not believe. So anyway, I got my turkey, smoked turkey next. Now, if you can have, you know, like, the, ooh, and I would love to have some rank fat meat, and then I'll break out and do that every once in a while. But back in the day, Mama and them, and my, especially my mother-in-law, good Lord from Zion, she would put more rank meat in those greens than the law allowed. But you talking about some kind of good food? Whew, child, please. I, I can imagine when I had my open heart surgery, honey, many of her grits, greens that I ate, probably one of them clogs was from that, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying. But And then, of course, my husband and I would cook ours the same way. So you have to think about those things when you figure, how did I get that going on? Mm. That's the inside thing for those of you uh, who are familiar with, with me having a heart, open heart surgery. That was way off track, wasn't it? But I'm just saying all that to say this. I'm trying to cook a healthy pot of collard greens is what I'm getting at. So... Uh, I want to cook the rank meat in there, the pork rank meat and the ham hocks and all that, but I sort of back off of that. So that way that leaves me room to eat other stuff that probably I shouldn't. But, you know, when you, for basically for Thanksgiving dinner, we're going to do the collars and they're going to be cooked healthily. I'm not going to probably not add any salt. Um, and then all the veggies in for the season. Um, I'm going to do a turkey. Uh, some fried chicken wings. Yeah, that's a little bit, you know. And then I'm going to do a ham. Uh, some stuffing, candy yams, rice and gravy. And that's it. That's going to be it. I have a ton of it, but that's going to be it. Because usually I've cooked about five meats. I'm not doing five meats this time. I'm going to stay. Okay. I'm going to stay over in the safe lane or in the easy lane, so to speak. Um. Also, since I did remember to get my Tony Chaucer's uh, No Salt Seasoning, I'm going to put me a tablespoon of that in here, too, because everything, y'all know we all about the flavor over here. Well, Tony pull that flavor train in, honey. Them young jump off of that, they'd be ready for some good food, okay? So... And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put all my dry seasoning. So that was Tony Chaucer's. So far, y'all see I've got a half gallon of water. Now this is five bunches of green, a gallon of water, uh, an onion, three uh, sweet uh, uh, multicolored peppers, um, a half a cup of vinegar, a tablespoon of Tony Chaucer's, and now I'm getting ready to put my uh, tablespoon of complete seasoning in. May have to put a little bit more, but for right now, I'm just getting this water ready to receive those greens when I get done washing and cutting them in about 30 minutes. Okay. So, you know, all of this seasoning here, see, this will help you not to have to use this regular salt, too. That'll keep you out of the salt. And you have a good old pot of greens. Now, people cook greens all different kinds of ways. So, I, this is the way I choose to cook them. This is the way... Uh, when I was growing up, honey, once you put that rank meat and a ham hock or two in that pot, you didn't need anything else. So,
So I'm using enhancers because I don't have the rank meat. I want the rank meat, but we can't have it. So we're doing smoked turkey next instead, y'all. So anyway, that's a lot of goodness in that pot to receive those collards. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put my lid on, and we're going to let it rip. Now, here's the deal with, with cooking like this. Um, if you need more seasoning, by all means, put more seasoning. I'm giving you the basic fundamentals of cooking a pot of collards. You got to pick them, wash them, cut them up, and you got to boil some kind of, you got to have some kind of uh, seasoned broth to cook them in, and you're going to cook them. You know, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on what kind of collars they are. And then that's basically it. The seasoning, how you season these collars will determine whether you're the best collar cooker in the South or not. Okay? So this is my way of cooking this particular pot of collars. Now, I might cook some collars at Christmas time. Uh, I may cook them totally different as far as seasoning. But the basic fundamentals of cooking a pot of collars is right there. Some people like fried collars. I know how to fry collars. I just choose not to because this is the way we lock them around here. So now I'm going to go ahead and let this water cook, and I'll be back as soon as it cooks about um, 30 minutes, and I'll come back and start putting my collars in. So y'all hang in there. I'll run on out to Piggly Wiggly somewhere, get you a bunch of greens, and start cleaning them up and catch up with me. So be right back, y'all. Okay, y'all, I am back. I am ready to put the greens in the pot. Those um, turkey necks have been cooking a little over 35, 40 minutes. Got them nice and done pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and just start putting my greens. As you can see, they're all nice and chopped. Because I got so many, I'm going to have to put them in in stages. Put the lid on them. Let them cook down probably whew, three stages. I don't know. I might have to get my other pot out for these. That's a lot of green. I didn't realize it was that many. I'm glad it's that many so that, uh, rah ah, yes, sir. I'm going to have a big pot of greens here, y'all. So, got that first installation, so to speak, in there. <coughs> I think I can get a little juicy more in there. Now, you know they will wilt down, and this pan is probably going to be filled up to the top. What I'm going to do down through here i'm going to sprinkle with a little y'all might have to continue i have to get the season as they're cooking another teaspoon of um complete seasoning like in between there y'all okay i mean if you don't like complete seasoning or, or don't want any more seasoning that's all right with me honey i ain't mad at you then we'll put the little onion powder down through there I haven't put any at all, so another. Got one whole onion in there, remember? So we're going to put us a teaspoon of uh, onion powder in there. And then I'm going to put the lid on them and let them do what they do. Push them right on down in there like so. Cover them. That steam, steam will shrivel them down somewhat. And I've got about not quite that many more. Got about half that many more over here in my colander to put in. So let's just transfer them all over here together. Got about that many more to put in. So, y'all want to hang on for about 10 minutes. I'm going to let those cook about 10 minutes and they should cook down. And I should hopefully be able to get, so y'all pray with me. I should be able to get the rest of them in that pot. And we're going to have us some greens here, y'all. And that's what my dinner is going to be. I found ramble through the fridge and guess what i found y'all i found some cornbread so i'm gonna eat collard greens cornbread and turkey necks for my dinner so y'all hold on for me okay i got them cooked down y'all so i'm gonna do my second installment y'all pray with me now pray on with me i'm gonna push them push them push them on down in there Juice. Oh, it smells so good. I don't use any color. We already know they're going to taste so wonderfully magnificent. Mm. I already know these are going to be good. I already know. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna sit nicely in there. And I'm gonna have this huge pot of flowers. I will probably have a bag of these to put away for Christmas. I'm hoping I will. Or maybe a private stash bag to put away. Okay, that, this is what makes me feel so good. It's like if I cook a lot of collards in like now and have enough left for uh, like j around the January time frame, you can still whip a bag of cock. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'm excited. That other little installment there. Some chocolate there. Another teaspoon. Okay. Another little teaspoon of uh, onion powder. I'm almost out of this. I'm gonna have to get to the store. Get more of this. Okay. I'm just gonna slip the lid on there like I did. Um, don't y'all stick your hands in like I do. My hands are tough, honey. I don't feel a whole lot. Main thing, they're clean. So on goes the pot of lid again. We're going to let those cook down again. And after, once they uh, get all wilted down into there good like I want them, they're going to cook about another 35 minutes, 40 minutes. Because you know these collars are real nice and tender. And like I said, they're cabbage collars. And we don't want to cook them too much. But I want them cooked enough so I can get me a plate full for my dinner. Just me, my collards, and some cornbread. I'm so excited I had me two slices of cornbread left over from the other day when I cooked that soup. You know, just one. Okay, so yeah, we're going to let these cook down a little bit. Well, next time y'all see these, we're going to say it's going to be about 35 minutes and they'll be ready. So hang in there. Okay, y'all, these collards are ready for the world. They've cooked down, they've boiled, they're done. The meat's on top. And of course, you know, I already told y'all, this is my dinner for the evening, y'all. So listen, guys, thank y'all for tuning in while I cook my Thanksgiving collards. They are ready for Thanksgiving. So, okay, I know, honey, no Rick is still after me about this game and all this kind of stuff, but what he don't know, I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this bowl of collards. And that slice of cornbread. And that's going to be it for me for dinner, y'all. But just look at these beautiful, wonderful collars. And if you want a pot of these, just look at the video. Follow the instructions. And you have the best pot of collars you're going to have that don't have. I don't know what that little glitch was about. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank y'all for uh, standing in the gap, encouraging me, and for watching me cook my pot of collars, y'all. These are going to be epic for Thanksgiving. Now, you know by Thanksgiving, all those flavors would have gone all the way through these greens. So, uh, again, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray without ceasing, y'all. Stand in the gap for somebody because somebody needs it. Trust me. So, listen, y'all. These greens are calling me. So, remember... Go ahead and check out the video now and go and get your collars. If you don't got them, go on to the store and buy you four or five bunches of collars. That five bunches of collars made about a gallon and a half of collard greens. This is a huge, huge pot. This is my big old soup pot. So it's all, it's about three quarters of the way full. So these collars will feed a lot of folks. If y'all, I don't know how many y'all got for Thanksgiving, but I cook these many so I can freeze some. So again, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for your prayers, your well wishes. And listen, if I don't talk to y'all again or do another video, y'all have a blessed, safe Thanksgiving. Follow the guidelines, wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance. Whatever you need to do to stay healthy because we want to be here to bring in 2021 together. I love y'all so much. Remember, keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Toodaloo.